war declared. Organize tells Igbo's Lagos next action for them as Sangolu watches demolition of Igbo properties. Sangolu is the governor of uh, Lagos State. In a strategic move to safeguard Igbo investment, organizing the Igbo, the Apis Igbo Social Cultural Organization, has issued a compelling directive urging Igbos to consider relocating their investment to their homeland in the East. The call to action comes in response to the ongoing demolition exercise in Lagos, serving as a Project reminder of the imperative of self-reliance. This decisive directive was articulated through a statement by Organizing Dibu Secretary General Mazi Ukechiku Isioguzoro, who underscore, underscored the importance of reflecting on past actions and taking proactive measures to secure the future. The organization expressed concern over these proportionate impacts of the demolitions on properties owned by Igbo residents in Lagos, following a perception that Igbo's bear responsibility for their current predicaments. Highlighting the significance of hidden historical warnings, the statement referenced the Council of the Late Dim. Chukwemeka Odumegu Ojuku, asserting that the refusal of some Igbos in Lagos to heed his advice contributed to the prevailing challenges. It emphasized that investigations and intelligence reports had indicated that Ojuku foresaw the loss of investment and practice to the Lagos government and legislators. The prophetic words of Ojuku are cited in the statement serve as a stark reminder that the reckoning days predicted by the late leader have arrived. Organizing Dibu, however, clarified that his stance is not to engage in confrontation with the governor, Governor Sangulu, and the Lagos governor, the Lagos government over the demolition instead. The organization encourages Igbos to perceive this adversity as an opportunity to rectify past mistakes and secure their investment for the future. In a tone of encouragement, the statement reads, We call upon all Igbos residing in Lagos to seriously consider relocating their investment back home immediately. Organizing Igbo stands ready to support and facilitate this transition, ensuring the preservation of our people's assets and, pro um, and prosperity. This directive serves as a reliant call for Igbos to view the challenges posed by the demolitions as a turning point to re Revaluate re their investment strategies and fortify the economy foothold, foothold in the East. The organization positioned itself as a supportive ally ready to assist Igbos in navigating this transmission effectively. As, this, as a representative body of the Igbo people, organizing the Igbo, champions a forward-looking approach, emphasizing the need for reliance and ad ad adaptability in the face of adversity. They call for strategic investment, relocation, it resonates not only as a response to the current demolitions, but as a broader initiative to empower the Igbo community for sustained prosperity. Hmm. Well, Nigerians, I don't know where we are heading to. I don't even understand why all these are happening. Though Nigerians who have reacted to this, they've said that the governor of uh, Lagos State, you know, they are still angry with the Igbos that Peter will be one 
election in the in the southwest in Lagos State. Now the question is, is that why you are not going this far? Don't also forget that it's not only Igbo in the in Lagos State voted for Peter Obi. If this is the reason why the government is doing this, this is really very bad. This is not how to play politics. You they play politics, you they play politics of hatred. No, now politics. This politics is supposed to be a game. You understand? Now, when I don't win, when I don't win, finish. When I see they carry on anger, they drop for innocent people body. It not make sense. All those houses you are demolishing with this kind of economy, this APC don't place Nigeria. How do you think these people will survive? Are they going to pay them? Is it any uh, compensation? Or you are just demolishing it just to weaken them? This is a serious matter, honestly. It's a serious matter. You understand? So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.